Hey, it's cold here if you don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time to get things started. Sorry I'm late. Oh. There we go. Sorry I'm late. Um. Kind of unintended. By which I mean entirely unintended. Basically, about three hours ago, um, I kind of super crashed and fell asleep for. I fell asleep until like one hour ago. And so I woke up with half an hour left, hadn't made dinner yet, didn't actually have the things that I need to make dinner. But I had to go over to the store and get some stuff at well past the last minute. Hmm. But we're here. So how's everybody doing? Hope everyone is well on this, the last, uh, Tuesday of the year. Uh, hopefully people come by for open cons, but uh, not especially counting on that. Just a couple of things that I need to switch around that I forgot to. Now we can get started. There. And. Where is it? There it is. Okay, <clears throat> so today, as you can possibly tell from the music that is now playing, we're going back to Vanilla Time Spinner and finishing it. Um, we have gotten to the normal ending, but as I have discovered from viewing Rando, uh, the normal ending ain't good enough for the archipelago rando uh yeah there is uh there's another ending to this and previously i have not actually sat and enjoyed that ending because you know playing with as many as 11 other players you, you kind of don't have the opportunity to just sit and read the dialogue. So that's neat. But uh, we have the time now. Um, and I do intend to go like half an hour past 1 a.m. because I'm starting half an hour late. Uh, we're probably going to finish this game with time to spare and uh, should that be the case we'll uh, move on to uh, something else afterward so hw info has this dumb thing now where if you wanted to report uh, system statistics, you have to turn it back on every 12 hours. For no other reason than give us money. That's great. Alright. So, nice thing about Time Spin Aranda is. Once this finishes loading. is that it doesn't affect 
um, any vanilla files. So here we still are. Uh, let's see, do I have a warp shard? I do. Let's just save some time. Also, I think I'm going to need to get a map out. Because um, I'm used to having the, um, the, the actual tracker map. That... Uh, the rando actually gives you. Because we're going to be finding as many of the things as we possibly can. Also, welcome back, Jewel. Ow. What orbs do I have, I wonder? Um, not a whole lot. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to go up there. Oops. Unless there's a path up here. No. Ow. Okay, let's see. missing a couple of things around here. Uh, what's the best way to get there? Well, not here. I never got this chest. Okay, well, there we go. Let's see. Actually, hang on. Ow! No! No bueno. One level up from here. Okay, so over here there's a thing. Okay, and there's two memories. So I haven't been reading these out loud. I'm going to allow this to be on the screen. So this is probably one of uh, one of mom's lost memories. Uh, 
Uh oh. What's gonna happen now? Novius. Now that I know that Emperor Nubius is voiced by Jacob Burgess, I can't help but read his lines as Jacob. Jacob Burgess is uh, basically an indie voice actor. He's also a super cool guy. I couldn't really list off anything that he's been in, unfortunately. <laughs> Other than like Desert Bus for Hope. So what I'm getting from this is the entire reason that Emperor Nubius attacked um, Stone's clan is basically, if I can't have you, no one can.
It's one thing to have someone obsessed with you who you might see it like 20 years later who is like just some random dude. This guy is the entire fucking Emperor of Lakia. Oh, but you're mine, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's how it works. Oh boy. Uh Hey. That didn't end well. Gotcha. So there is another chest over there in that ledge. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get to it right now. Sorry if you weren't able to read it. All I can really say is it's gonna be on the pod. Okay, so we can't go this way anymore, actually. We should be able to go around the other way. Down here. Okay. Forgot about you. Okay, this looks familiar. This is part of the time spinner. One of the tuning gears. That's why I went back so far. This wasn't attached. There are supposed to be three of these to calibrate how far back the time spinner goes. Oh, too late now. Linnaeus, if you found all three, you could tune it properly. So? You could do what you meant at the start. Go to a different time. I could go back before Nubius ever found Rendaria. I could actually save them. Heck, with the gears I could go anywhere. I just need the other two. Easier said than done. And if I can't find them, I can still kill Nubius. Oh. Hmm. Can kind of see a problem here. Um. Uh. 
Let's go ahead and use Colossal Blade. There. have the one ring. Just kind of impressive actually. Like I don't know if I'm supposed to have more than that by now. I'm just used to having more than that because of the random. Ow. I'm gonna go save and then we're going to check out some other areas. Let's see. There is a chest over here that we didn't get. Oh jeez. Uh. This is a little bit farther back here. delay are you talking about? I'll get into that once I'm not reading this. Also, I did mention why at the start of the stream, but apparently you weren't here. Yeah, this is straight up Days of Future Past Wolverine they're talking about here. So I'm guessing that her training didn't, uh, Linnaeus' training did not include 
you should only go back as far as you need to. And that was done intentionally so that uh, they stop needing to have a time messenger. And, um, oh. and just go and finish the, the entire, like, prevent the Lucky Emmy from ever even finding out about the time spinner. So that they don't need to worry about it anymore. Anyway, um, as far as the stream being late, oh, okay, there's going to be some more some more dialogue, I think. And you another tuning gear for the time spinner. Just one more, and I can save Windaria. Save my clan. You've been changing time a lot, Linnaeus. That's my job. It's my duty. I can kill Nubius now thanks to the changes I made. Everything you do changes the timeline. Changes the future. You've seen the effects of it. Yeah. Lucky I'm here has changed. It's grown weaker. And those statues and things. All the changes are good. You can achieve your goal. You can't stop. I know that. But... There are forces in the universe besides you humans. It's the demons. Like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dreams are getting full. What's that mean? Whatever. Anyway. Like, I know that there are three time spinner gears to find. I just don't know where they are in vanilla. Although I I'm pretty sure I know where the last one is. Anyway. So yeah, late stream start. Uh and it's kinda my bad. Um I ended up kind of crashing at 6.30, my time. Like, super crashing, and then waking up at 8.30. Um, so a, a half an hour before the start of the stream. Uh, hadn't had dinner. Didn't have the things that I need to make dinner. And so, ended up having to get that sorted out, and, um... And thus I started half an hour. And that's the rest of the story. Okay, let's deal with this. I'm going to need a fire orb. Familiar. 
Now that I know how to actually deal with that. I honestly had no clue until I started doing Rando. It's a warp shard, and it is my last one, so I'm gonna go pick up some more before I do anything else. Things like time or casual or casualty or ca causality. Like your little dream dragon there, those things aren't exactly a problem. Or whatever. She'd figure it out eventually. Figure what? Want to see my collection? Oh, I can't actually buy time jar uh warp shards from you. Also, what the hell? Gilded Egg, 99,999. That's absurd. Okay, I thought I could buy Warp Shards from you. I'm trying to think where you are in... If you really think that I'm gonna get 99,999, uh, what is it called? Entropy? Uh, that ain't happening. I might end up doing it like off screen or something, but, uh, yeah, no. This, this is not a 14 hour stream. If I'm not mistaken, yes, you're here. Can I buy... No. Oh, wait. Oh, right, okay. So there's a different category for, um... For use items that, uh... Is actually not used in, uh... In Rando. You just have everything in one list. No, it's not, Jewel. In fact, this couldn't be a 24-hour stream anyway because they would run into my code creator stream tomorrow. Oh, I can open this now. Jewel, stop. Seriously. All terrorless. Let's 
So it kind of seems like history repeating itself. Because right now, Valette is trying to destroy Lachium, uh, while led by Volterilus. And then in the present, um, Lachium is trying to destroy our clan, led by Emperor, like, Lachium, led by Emperor Nubia, Nubius, is trying to destroy our clan. Elemental beads. Ah, gotcha. Actually, interesting thing. Uh, elemental beads actually don't exist in the Archipelago Rando because that is the item that that is used internally to replace. Uh, like that that item is replaced by. Um, the archipelago item. Uh, let's see. Apparently haven't been in the basement of the castle? Oh, I have been in the basement of the castle, I just haven't done it, everything. Ow. Secret here. The Blood Orb. I think that's it. Hey Tyrion, time shenanigans are going well. Uh, as mentioned in my uh, rando stream, this is back to vanilla time spinner. Coming back and properly. Sitting down and absorbing the story around the post game. Uh, let's see. And also completing it 100%. Mostly just for the sake of completion, because although I've gotten 100% in um, Rando, uh, achievements are disabled in Rando, you know, rightfully so. Pendulum and prevents poison. Still something up there that I forgot about. Now
Uh, let's see. It's also the rest of this here cave. targets the uh, the stem burst because that absolutely doesn't kill it. Also, you notice that blue chest that I just got. Apparently that's supposed to be like a rare chest. Um, in Rando, they're all spawned in uh, by default. But in Vanilla, they may or may not be there. Either, either that, or I think there is a rare chance for it to give you a different item. And actually the silver ore is that rare item in this case. I got a lot of things there and I have no idea what it, what it all was. Wind orb. There we go. So I think... Oh, there's still a secret room that I didn't get. Right here. Our max health up. I think that's it. So I got this. So 97%. What am I missing? Ah, uh, I am missing this, which I'll come back to that. Oh, and this too. Which I don't think I can get anyway right now, so... Okay. Let's see, warp shard. Now let's go back to the present. Which means Lakiam isn't the only power in the sky. They'll be weaker. They'll be weaker now. Now I can find Nubius. I can end this. We already did. to go to the top route.
warps are. I will not argue with the warp shard. Shattered orb. He's got Evan's uniform. Which I don't think those are going to be upgrades. Oh. Well, it is an upgrade to my hat. Yeah, this chest here has a chance to drop something else. But I don't think the berry picking up plus was uh was the special drop there. Let's see. So what can we do? I think my move is going to be to go to the seal cave. Bugger will fly out and mess your crap up. Like the game entirely realizes that you can't get here uh, without the uh, the security key card A. Eh? Uh, their hugs are a little too violent for my taste, Drew. I'm out of the... Uh... Well, I guess that these guys drop high either, it's like there's no tomorrow, so... Yes. <laughs> 
big point over here. I'm gonna go the top route like I usually do in a random. be the uh the special drop for this chest i don't think that you would be able to get multiple bird statues Sure, what that does. One of the weeds. I'm gonna go on the bottom route. Just close the loop. And save. Alright. Now to move forward for the boss at the end of this cave. Kind of a jerk. Really? That reached that far? No. Nothing there, huh? This <laughs> now also hit the upper bell. I still don't think Taco Bell is known for making people throw up. It, it is known for making people poop violently. <sighs> Not for humans at least. Okay. I will concede that point, Jewel. Toxin is something that we haven't seen before in vanilla. What that does is drain your uh, drain your aura. So you get hit with you get hit with neurotoxin and you can't cast spells or use the plasma orb anymore. So I need to get down here without getting hit by an enemy. There we go. Now this asshole, his name is. There we go. There we go. Ow. Nope.
Now you don't actually have to uh, fight the hand. It just takes out one of the attacks that you do. So I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Ah! Wasn't sure which way it was gonna go. Oh geez! Has to reach low enough health that it starts doing that. God damn it! Okay, yeah, I need to heal again. Eh. One more. Please stop. There we go. Achievement unlock very. And that's the third time spinner gear. The third tuning gear with a working time spinner like the one Genza had. It saved my client. It changed time the way I, I was always supposed to. They're growing more powerful. What? Who? The forces of the universe. Every time you change time. Right. You mentioned. You must be careful, Linnaeus. If you change time too much, like doing what I was supposed to do this whole time? We've already changed so much. Too much more could be disastrous. He grows more powerful, but he can't keep up. He would have no choice but to do something drastic. What are you saying? That I can't save Wynduria? That these years are useless to me? That I've been wasting my time? No. No sacrifice is wasted. If... If you were powerful enough, maybe you could stop him. I'll stop anyone who gets in my way. Also, it's nice to get this uh, this extra story because since the time sooner gears are just randomly scattered uh, in vanilla, uh, the text attached to them is not included. So now I think if I go to the library, I can get a little bit more lore here. Well, that's that statue's different. The Eternal Mother. This is, this wasn't here before. Oh wait, yeah, I we did actually see this now that I remember correctly. Welcome back. Is there anything I can help you with? Hey, yes. Um, I am looking for information about Lachium's history. Wonderful. I just love meeting other people who take an active interest in history. No one seems to care about our past anymore. It's so sad. Is there a time period you're, mo you're most interested in? Actually, yes. I hear there was a, a great war a thousand years ago. Do you have anything about that? Oh, the War of the Sisters, that's my favorite area ever too. Unfortunately, we've had to lock down access to any information on that. A decree from the Emperor himself. Oh no, hmm. I, I just love history so much. Is there really nothing you can do to help? No. Um, just between you and me, I think the lockdown is ridiculous. Now it should be made available for everyone. Tell you what, I'll give you the key card to the room where the information is being kept. Promise me that you won't tell anyone. I could lose my job. Or worse. Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. Wonderful. 
Here's the key card. The room is the second floor on the second floor to your right. Let let the war of the sisters. Lucky is that a rival of the laws ruled by a mad despot who wish control of lacking his resources. That's familiar. In 38 AE, after after Alakim rebelled against Philip's oppression, they controlled the portal between walls and built a device that would destroy it forever and destroy all of the love with it. This harrowing but necessary act by Queen Alana the Great, the founder of the Alakim Empire, Lakim the Empire, ended Valet's Bil evil forever and won the War of the Sisters for Lakim, beginning a new golden era. Oh. Interesting that they're slightly different ones. So this is the map for Lake Desolation, which we've pretty much already filled in. Yeah, it is a little bit. So I think you're s I think that path ends up getting unlocked when you get this quest. Um and because because time has changed originally it's this here. So which is a little bit different. It's like mildly different, but it is different because we changed history. Well, the plasmosphere. This was destroyed by us. Well, it was conquered in Lakia in 1025 AD. Which is much different than before because the year in 38 AE, climax of, of the War of the Sisters, the planet was destroyed. So, wildly different um, timeline there. Um, up to 97%. And yeah, we haven't done... I forget if there's anything here. There's no there anymore. Um doesn't. It's definitely something here we missed. I right, there is something there. And then we also didn't do this. We can't do this yet. Also that is this. Um 
I think everything else we've pretty much discovered at this point. Oh wait. It's this. Oh, this is the same point. I should still go and map that. Uh, and there's also this room. And that's everything. So I think we're going to go toward the end game at this point, and we'll worry about filling out the map after that. We can also do the the, the remainder of the quests um, after doing the end game. Find my father now and end this. I have the tuning gears. I can go to whatever time to whatever time I want. It doesn't just it doesn't just have to be about revenge. I could fix things. I could kill Nubius before he ever attacks our clan. Save my mother, Nellis, and the others. I could go back further. Stop the war of the sisters from ever happening. Kill their emperor, Vulturellus. Let all my friends live better lives, and maybe stop Black Hand from ever becoming like this. Menaeus, those are big changes. Aren't they worth it? You've changed so much time already! Reality might not be able to take much more. If you do this, he'll become powerful. He will rip you away! Be a sacrifice, Menaeus. One you would not come back from. But maybe... Maybe you could stop him. Who? Who is he? This power you keep mentioning. The Sandman. He controls dreams and he keeps reality from fracturing. You've given him a lot of power. But maybe you're more powerful. So, I could kill Nubius now, get my revenge, then what? Rule here, I suppose. I am the heir. Or return to the past to live with the others, with my friends. Or I sacrifice myself. Like this Sandman fixed everything. Um, so in Rando, it doesn't matter which boss I fight. Uh, we we go to we go to the uh, to the end game area either way. Uh, I think here it might actually make a difference. We're gonna go ahead and save. Stopping my father and saving my clan has always been my goal, my duty. I'll go back to Windaria, even if I never existed. It's always been my sacrifice as a time messenger. Save my mother. Halt! Who are you? I'm an idiot. That's Commander Nubius. Who are you? My name is Unaeus. You don't know me yet. Yet? I'm sure you've heard rumors. It must be why you're here, right? The portals? The time spinner? What do you know of it? It exists. I just used it. That's... that's amazing. You... you look like Selen. I know that I have your hair. What? You want to know what happens in my timeline, Nubius? You have a kid. And then in your obsessed quest to find the time spinner, you slaughter her whole clan. Selim included. What? No, oh, I love Selim. <laughs> you barely know her. And I know for a fact that she never loves you. Nonsense. She would have to. She would never rebuff me. I'm destined to be the Emperor. I know. Shut up. You're nothing but a power-hungry brat who murders my mother in a tantrum. Dare you. I'm done talking. I'm a time messenger, Nubius. That means I can change time. That means... This is patricide. Ah! 
Ow. Yeah, Commander Nubius doesn't quite have the uh, variety of attacks that Emperor Nubius does. He can do most of the things that uh, the Emperor does, but... Oh, so we still get this, okay. I'm gonna see if I can uh, quit and go the other way. What? Where are we? A land of dreams or nightmares. So much change when you struck the final blow, he had no choice. Hmm. No choice of what? That man. No choice but to throw everything away rather than try to fix so much. Everything? All of reality. What? You told me that I could fix it. That I would be lost, but not everything. I did say that. But it's not over. I saved you. I brought you here where I was born, so you could stop him. Why? You are too powerful. What is he? A god. If there are such, if there are such things. You said he was like you. Yes. Are you a god? If there are such things, perhaps. And you, what? And you, what lured me here? You mean your own choice? If I kill the Sandman? The Sandman exists because he has to. Something must fix time. If he died, something else would have to take his place. Like you. Or you? I could fix time. If you're powerful enough. I exist because you exist. I want what you want. Oh, I, will, I will admit I'm an expert on time paradoxes. Fine, I guess if time mes messenger has to report has a report to deliver to the whole freaking universe. I'm about to be under new management. So I'm going to see if that auto saved me after killing Commander Nubius. It did not, so I can go the other way now. Stopping my father has always been my goal, but my duty is, uh, is just for the survival of my clan. There's more than one way to do that. And Nels and the others I have a greater duty as a time messenger to make a better world. I have a point, Your Eminence. Your Eminence. I know you won't like it, but I propose... Intruder! Guards! Who are you? My name is Aeneas. I'm from the future. Preposterous! You value magic, right, Voltaros? That's Emperor! I wasn't done talking. Alana, you are right about the Lakiemi. You should visit them again, meet, the, with, meet with our queen. I think you'll like her. Voltaros, your reign is over. What? Alana, I know it's hard to see it now, but Villette is not the place the elite want to believe it is. Talk to Philia. And find some Valetian soldiers. Nellist, Ramada, Sekus, Esham. Make sure those last two meet. You'll be a great ruler in peacetime. Dare you! This is treason! I'm not one of your subjects. It's not treason. It's regicide. I think this is supposed to be a harder fight, too. Oh, jeez.
Uh, I'm not going to disagree with you there, Adrian. They're very similar, just with slightly different patterns. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Um, what do I have in healing? Not a whole lot. Okay, that was a bad idea. say no so that I can get my items back. I think I get my items back either way, but I I seem to recall that's kind of crap shoot. At least we can skip these. Actually, since that is one of your attacks, I wonder if you'd be better off using a different... Yeah, this, this seems to be doing a lot more damage. I am doing the same amount of damage, just more often. <laughs> Got myself hit, tw hit, hit twice because I stopped time. So we take ends up destroying time either way. This is probably not going to change at all. But are we? Yeah, same deal. So we find ourselves back at the camp, except it's kind of just a memory of the camp. Right, this does not exist. It's just Lunaeth's interpretation of where we are now. You, you've got a lot of nerve, Friedling. Don't talk like you're so much better. You wouldn't be this powerful if not for me. If not for her. You've caused me a lot of trouble, girl. So I, he so I hear the messes you've left behind. I'm amazed it took this long for you for, uh, for you to destroy reality. Re I'm amazed it took this long for you to destroy reality. I didn't do this. You did. And I'm here to change it back. Is that what the dreamling told you? 
Well, no matter. You are but a shade here. This is my realm. Here on it, I am God. I am all that is and all that will be. Not if I have anything to say about it. I am all powerful, Garnold. You ensured that. The dream, uh, the dreamling may have ensured your continued existence, but it won't be here for long. This light, I recognize it somehow. Wait, I can see home through here. You said it was destroyed. It was. This game reflects your dreams. It feels so real. Dreams are powerful, especially here. Do you wish to return? Is that even possible? Dreams are just... I can return you to Lachium. However, it, will, it would only be a dream and be a reflection of what could have been. Be Nell again. Let's do it. There are some more things. There are some things I still want to do. And yes, you can actually go back to the rest of the game for me. But right now, I'm not going to do that. We're going to take a look at the Ancient Pyramid, which is where the Time Spinner lives uh, normally. Just go down these stairs and. Oh. The way to the inner chamber is blocked. Real clever set. Alright, well, there are two paths to the inner chamber. We're just gonna have to take the long way around. Not a problem. Uh, this is just. Making sure to kill at least one of everything so that I have them in my uh, in my records. Cause of death. Got in my way. Ow. Bit of a pain to deal with uh, going up the stairs. A little bit less going down. Fallen down a large pit, and we can't get out. Hmm. How will we ever get out of here? Well, there's a secret path here, leads to my sore up. But then there's another secret path, which leads to other stuff. Basically death, because this game is is not already um, isn't already inspired by Symphony of the Night enough. Ow. 
And here we have the ever powerful Celestial Sash, which lets us do this. So now we can get out of this pit. Provided that I don't get mauled by everything on the way there. New. I really wish there was a slide move. Dream Mask. Game is experienced to equip familiar meat. the door to the Sandman. Uh, just give me a second. I need to take um, take meds. Normally we would take a break here, but we started half an hour uh, late, so we'll be breaking half an hour late, or when we're done with uh, Time Spinner. Just give me a second. Let's go ahead and meet our Unmaker. You can't hide forever, Sandman. You delude yourself into thinking I have to. You've made me a powerful force. My mark spreads across reality. I am a god! So I hear, fixing everything my wake, is that it? But then you just, what, gave up? Threw it all away? Sounds like you weren't good enough at your job. Dare you? I am a god! I am one of the ascended! Sure, yet here I am, and I want my universe back. So I guess this is Deicide. Oops. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities between these bosses. Like, this particular boss is like a lot of other bosses in the queue.
area. But he's not done yet. He defeated the Sandman, but now enter Nightmare. By the way, we can try to stop time for some, for some of this. It's it doesn't work. Time is meaningless in a place where there where time no longer exists. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, that means he's on the ropes now. Also, something weird that I learned is that this boss actually has 6,655 uh, HP. able to beat him pretty handily because uh I've done I've done it a few times now. Achievement unlocked nightmare. What? You're powerful in a the universe can uh, the universe cannot exist without someone to protect time. And the sandman is gone. Okay. Ascending What am I? Lunaeus is gone. You're the goddess of time. You're the eternal mother who has appeared throughout the ages. But the universe... The Sandman destroyed it. Ironically, he did not have time. It's all still here, in his realm. Achievement unlocked, Savior of Villette. Time had to be restored. I restored it. The Eternal Mother restored it. The greatest sacrifice never existed. And in exchange, I could fix it all. The ultimate time messenger, I suppose. My truest calling. My friends, family, would be okay. And with the signing of this treaty, Valette re uh, recognizes Lakiema as a fully independent nation and ally. For those Valetians wishing to remain, we will be expanding our settlements, and Valette has agreed to share its supply of plasma to all. We can thank the Eternal Mother for this peace. To all of you, I know this has been a rough few years. Valette is now tasked with reviewing the, pol the policies enacted under the their late Emperor. It's time to work together to build two strong nations. We are sister worlds. Together we are strong. This is a good day. My love, we have made this a better world. God us be blessed. Lakiem is a tranquil place. I made sure of that. Valette and Lachiam kept their peace for generations. Plasma was shared and the bleakness truly, truly cured. They still explore the universe, delve into his secrets, secrets I can see now, but for knowledge, understanding, not conquest. The Eternal Mother guides their way. I guide their way. The universe has the happiness I never could. Mama, she has your eyes. Is she designed after you? No, my dear. This is the Eternal Mother. She watches over all of time. The myths say that once she taught us the gift of time as well. 
some of us were heroes, but that time is long over. Maybe she designed me after herself. The Eternal Mother is the, is the guardian of our people, just like I am to you and your, simple, and your siblings. Maybe one day one of you will be for a, uh, will be for our clan as Kaelin messenger to the other cities of our world, of our world, maybe beyond. But we have seen peace for many generations. Hopefully, you will never be needed, and we can be, uh, we can be a family together forever. I like that. I give thanks to the Eternal Mother, like I taught you. Thank you for your protection and love, O oh Goddess. Kid is a statue, and with her eyes closed. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if the ending changes at all if you go with the Nubia's path instead. But I'm not really sure how you'd go about that on the same file. Um, I think there's a new game plus. Yeah, you can press X here for new game plus. You end up with the same ending? Alright. Anyway, we now have the Goddess Birch. And now that we have the Celestial Sash, we can do everything. First thing we'll do is go discover the other end of this. Oops. I was doing that in the wrong place. I was meant to be doing that over here. The Temporal Gyre. What is this place? This is what remains of existence. Like a ship lost to a storm, everything has been washed away. Here's where the Flossum and Jetsum have gathered. It sounds messy. You won't find the Sandman here. I suggest we turn back. Maybe I could find something to help me defeat him. Or you could find your death. Jeez. Friggin' Maya. Harsh. So yeah, this is a randomly generated area. The, the map remains the same, but the actual uh, content here will change every time. Mandatory arena slash nest of evil, yeah, exactly. There are some enemies that will only show up in this area. Also, you notice that Rishia dropped elemental beads. Um, if you're playing this in Archipelago, she will instead drop an Archipelago item. But that's because the elemental bees are replaced by Archipelago item. And the Archipelago item that she drops is meaningless to the actual Archipelago game. So. And you do need to kill everything in order to continue. Yeah, uh... You can't... Like, as a result, you can't really max out your orbs, um, in Archipelago because you don't have elemental beads. But you can definitely do it here. 
if you're willing to spend all the time. And there is one particularly annoying enemy that shows up in here. We'll see if it shows up uh, while I'm doing this. So was 99? Gee, I can't I can't even imagine getting up to that point. So at the end of every run, you will fight a boss. And in this case, it's gonna be the Raven Lord. So the Raven Lord can probably do that. Ow. Stop that. That was buena. Sniper no sniping. I know what I said. The Raven Lord can also teleport. This is a very annoying fight. Mostly because of that. Oh my goodness. If I'm not mistaken, there are now two bosses in the Temporal Dyer. We may have swung that. I am close to dying. Also, close to out of war. goes again. It does have a wind attack as well. It blows you around. Achievement unlocked a Raven Lord. And we get the Nether Orb. And the Kobo. Once more into the breach. I at least want to show off both of the uh, of the bosses that you can get. Yeah. 
one dude. That was it. Ah, here, the asshole. I noticed the door is not opening. But there's this thing here, which my familiar is attacking. But you can't hit it. What do you gotta do? Stream dead? What is going on? Yeah, I'm I'm looking at it right now and my uh kill bits per second is like down to 400 and I don't understand why. It's no this is on my end. Um Okay, let me see if this is All right, I'm going to do something that is probably going to briefly take the stream down. Um, so I will be right back. Still connected. Oh, no, watch Omar. Okay. I thought I thought that might have taken the stream down, but apparently not. Okay, well. Hopefully that fixes things, cause that's the only thing that I can think of to actually do anything about that situation. Cause I'm not seeing any drop frames, so I don't know what's up. Anyway, so yes, this dude, how do we kill him? Stop time. And he's kind of a raging asshole. Oh, and there's another one in this room. Cool. Get over here. Okay, the eye orb is not working. Fortunately, these consoles will continue to uh, respawn so we can quickly fill our... Oh wait, the door opened by itself. Okay. Well, I learned something today.
need to equip the blood orb. We haven't had the chance to level up yet, but it will... Ah, the door opened. It will penetrate through these guys' defenses. Okay, another one of these assholes. It has been a long time since I've played Portrait of Ruin. Now I do wonder if some of the enemies in this, uh, in this area are enemies that they did end up implementing but never end up actually adding to, uh, to like an area. We get a different boss. All of these, it's E3. Heavily armed. I see what you did there, and I love it. Okay, so I can stop coming. I don't think I'm going to survive this fight because I'm fighting very poorly. I remember doing this. Yeah. Yep. First time I fought E3. Just kind of sat underneath them and. Yep. That's the thing you can do. And you get the Forbidden Tone. I think you can keep doing that, and eventually you'll get something special out of it, but I'm not going to say here. Oh, At this point, let's just go and clear out the rest of the map. Oh, right. There's a thing here. Uh, was there anything here? Yes. Ow. In this room, I have a demon familiar. Also, yeah, he's gonna hand it to you. Ho 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 ho. Y'all, y'all doing all the puns, and I love it. Let's see. We got that.
Oop, I forgot this. Max stand. do another secret patreon area here I get the princess dress uh do we say yes to this dress mm. kind of defense loss and also fortitude uh, I think I'll take it though What moan? You're a weird background noise. Hey, I call them like I see them. Asian crown, which I think is pretty good actually, but not better than the captain's cap. War of the Sisters. Achievement unlocked Scholar, so I guess I got all of these. War of the Sisters 47. Terrible here, being terrible. peaceful existence under fascist. True words. sisters. We do what we must because we can. <laughs> so pretty much War of the Sisters happened because they were forced into a court. Not a great position to be in. Uh, whoops, sorry. Ninety-nine percent. Um, so we still need to go map out that one save room that we never saw. Ow! Ow! Stop that! There. And what's missing?
consulting my map here to see what's the what I haven't found yet. Ah, there's a thing. Ah, there's a thing right here. I think that's the last thing. Should be a hundred percent in the past. And yeah, the, the brown chests will uh, occasionally restock, so there is no there is excuse me. There is no such thing as a run where you permanently open all the chests unless you're doing rando. Uh, let's see. I'll lock me up a dais. I guess we could have come here before. Get the gun orb. Let's see. I don't think there's anything over to the over to the left. So now just straight to the right here. And there is a chest right up here. I think the only way that you can get this without the Celestial Sash is if you have Light Wall. Anti idiot. But yeah, if you have Light Wall, you can actually cast a wall a wall that you can actually climb on top of. But I never got that. It takes ages to actually get the uh, the light wall spell. I mean, is it like a rare drop or something? Let's see. Oh, to go up things were yeah. Okay. I get what you're saying now. I mean, I have done it in rando. It's not the most pleasant thing, but you can do it. Uh, yes, light wall is attached to the radiant orb, which I still haven't found, by the way. One of the last side quests. Ow. And map all the things. Ow. Ah. Okay, Empress Robe, and I think, yep, there's a secret down. Ah, uh, what just happened? That was weird. 
kind of forgot there that there was a, a map in it. Fortunately, it, uh, it did realize that Lunaeus was gone and uh, put her back at the entrance to the room instead of just killing Lunaeus. Um, so now that's done. Achievement unlocked her story. I think this is the uh, the actual like the last one. Because this is after um Felon finds out that uh Nubius has become Emperor. In fact, this seems to be just as the party was starting. I know it will never have existed. This is the moon is and never be born and we need her. And if I this is probably what uh what Solomon was talking about at the very beginning of the game. To the clan mother. All right. So ninety nine percent here, too. You're missing something. Oh, right here. Actually, I think I was also missing that um, in the past as well. Stole, huh? What did Azure steal? Why did Azure steal? There we go. Achievement unlocked Explorer. But we have 100% of the map done. But we're not quite done with Time Stare. Because I want to try to um, clear out the rest of these quests because we still have a few left. In fact, maybe we will be at this for the entire stream, but um, I, I do want to properly 
clear at this game without the context of the rando. But, for now, we're taking a break. Because I should have done that 15 minutes ago. But I wanted to clear out the rest of the map first. So, I uh, invite you all to, you know, get up and stretch, uh, get a drink, go to the bathroom, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. Uh, and when we come back in about 10-15 minutes, we'll uh, get those quests done. Well, I will see you in a bit. <laughs>